all right youtube so we got a crazy one today welcome to the walton files so i have seen this now i have not seen it but the series i have known about over the years but i've never really delved you know deep into it right and some of you guys have recommended me to react to this so here we are and i did find a playlist that has all of the walton files in the correct order so it's supposed to be like a analog horror type you know thing and the way i've looked at it always is like you know fnaf but on crack <laughs> so this might be a multiple part series i will react to every video in order so we'll probably have what two three four videos coming out if you are new here consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video it really helps out a lot and let's hop right into it man get comfortable i got my pillow here just like in the last reaction if you haven't seen that go check it out and yeah the walton files one company introductory tape okay and if i don't get something let me know down in the comments man it really does help all right all right oh god <laughs> he looks creepy see the first thing i think of is bonnie bonds burgers a Cyberfun Tech Bunny Smiles Inc. Restaurant, 1974. So this is the restaurant, Bonds Burgers. Hi, and welcome to the introductory tape to your new job at technical Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Oh, so I'm working here. You okay. Applied to a job in technical support and maintenance. What does this job particularly mean? It means that you, amongst other employees, are the one who'll take care of creating a magical and fun experience for Bonds Burgers. Oh. Uh. Okay. Ah, I don't know if I like this, dude. <laughs> Bro. So these are the animatronics, right? They both look terrifying. This would scare away all the kids. Okay, we got a... A girl version of Bonnie. Who? Cool. Hey, at least the song is good. Oh, we all know this one. On that farm, he had some pigs. Hold on, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Won't you get copyrighted if you play that song on YouTube? <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> These are the showstoppers. Bon, Shaw, Uzu, and Banny, a computer animated- Bon, Shaw, Uzu, and Banny. I am not gonna remember that, so I'm just letting y'all know right now. Band made by but hey. Side to entertain children. As a technician, you'll be given the role of a facility caretaker. Hello, my name is you. <laughs> Around this fun and magical journey, we'll work on certain tasks, such as cleaning protocols, okay, robot maintenance and repair, and learning how to use BSI Hold technology. On. Hold on, go back. Cleaning protocols. Okay, I was looking at that thing sticking out of his arm. I thought it was something crazy. Okay, all right. Robot maintenance and repair. I don't like the and voice. Learning how to use BSI technology. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, our beloved. Jack founder. Walton. Let me guess. He's gonna be. He's gonna be similar to um William Afton. Done killed everybody. Done. He done did something vicious. I bet. In BSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. That being said, with the Bonds Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, we're looking forward to achieving this dream with you. Oh, what was that? What was that? Okay, what's this? All right, y'all, we got some reading, and y'all know my reading is not the greatest, so you're going to have to bear with me. <laughs> Storage facility K through 9. All right save restore secure the bsi storage facility also known as k through nine is a company project to storage all valuable items from the closed for good bonds burger restaurant given the situations about the incidents inside the 1974 bonds burgers location any type of props animatronics and arcade ma machines will be carefully moved inspected and secured inside a bunker located deep down in saint Wanna's forest for good. Okay, a facility caretaker will take care of securing the facility and keeping it safe and working properly. 
Wow, why do you need something like that for animatronics like this? I mean, if I walked up to this door, I would think you would be keeping uh, the Hulk behind it. You know what I mean? Dang. They're trying to definitely secure them uh, animatronics. Shoot. Okay, what was that? Ooh. Got the chills. What did he say? Sunlight animation. A Bunny Smiles Incorporated cartoon. Little Bond's Neighborhood. 1979 Sunlight Animation. Okay, we got a little cartoon. Bond's Super Sleepover. It's a brand new day in Little Bond's neighborhood, and a really special one for sure. Little Bond has been waiting all day for his friends to arrive. He is okay. planning to have a sleepover with them. He has everything set up for the perfect movie night. With Sounds his nice. Hey, you got the pizza? Hey, I'm coming. For this <laughs> sleepover, he invited Shah, Boozoo, and Billy. Let's and check Billy. again in case we don't forget any guests. I don't know if I like Billy. Bond invited Shah, Bozu, and... What? What? What was that? I, I told you that's why I didn't like Billy. <laughs> oh, that must be them. Now that every... What did that mean? And... Okay, Billy did something bad. Oh, that must be them. Now that everyone has arrived, I suppose it's time for the movie night to begin. Bond spent all his money on a really funny movie, which he has... What the heck? There go Billy again! ...and friends watched the movie. I guess we can say they had a blast of a time. What, 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 what was that? Bro! Let hold on, I'm sorry, y'all. Bro, what is going on? <laughs> Let me out of here. Oh heck no. Billy? Let Billy out? What does that mean? Once the night drop, they all Okay. I don't like this. What's going on? Okay, we got Bond going into the kitchen. Cool. Oh, wait. Jack Walton missing. Okay. So he's that's Jack. He's missing. And the first thing that came to my came to my mind was he's trapped somewhere. Is he trapped inside one of the animatronics or what? Jack Walton. Jack Walton. Oh, heck no. What's that? A lighter. Oh, no. What the? What the? What? What was that? Okay, that looks like um Bond right there, the animatronic, right? Oh, is that supposed to be Jack here? I guess they got him. Okay, we got some real life footage. This is the brand new caretaker for the old Bunny Smiles facility. Now I'm uh, recording this because the company requires some type of. Hold on, let me. Um, I gotta cut the volume up. All right, y'all. I honestly have no clue because I've never worked here. 
Actually, I'm going there right now. But, <coughs> but they gave me this weird location. There's somewhere in a forest, I think, to work at. And I've been driving for 20 minutes. Oh, are you serious? Let me know, y'all. If your boss told you to drive out in the middle of nowhere and he's been driving for 20 minutes and still ain't got there at night, would you do it? No. <laughs> and I can't find a place. He can't even I find a place. Okay, that's that big facility that we're keeping the animatronics, right? Oh no. Who was that breathing? Is he up? have booked it out of there are you serious oh wait okay okay oh i see so he's just doing you know the little test and stuff to see if it works properly or whatever i guess it's hard to understand what he's saying if i'm being honest Oh no, it's time to go. Oh. Oh wow. So is is what was his name? Jack Walton. Is he inside of Bond, the animatronic? That's why we saw the message on the screen earlier saying let me out right if i'm missing something here somebody please explain okay it would be very helpful <coughs> what was that thing? oh i see oh <laughs> that's the same face i was making Is that? Who is that? I can't feel anything. He thought I was her. He thought I was her. Wait a minute. Was that the guy? The guy that was running away from Bond? Was that him talking just then? Did Bond think that he was somebody else and that's why Bond attacked? I don't know. I feel like what I'm thinking here is right. <laughs> Brian's Brian Stella. Okay, facility caretaker. Ugh. I got the chills. Huh. 
company introductory tape. That was definitely an introduction. Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so we're going to move on to the next episode, but okay, so we saw here, right, that this person got mutilated by Bond, right? I can't feel anything. He thought I was her. So that's what I'm thinking that Bond thought this person was somebody else. Hmm. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Like I said, this is my first time getting into this you know fully all right y'all in today's episode i think i'll react to this one and the next one so this one is called the walton files 2 relocate project all right and it's 17 minutes long all right y'all better get comfortable okay so we got bond bond again bond has not been a nice dude lately <laughs> bunny smiles inc Company by Cyber Fun Tech 19. Why is that blurred out? Okay. Oh, man. Hello, BSI members and employees, and welcome to the tape that will change the future of the Bonds Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles Company for the better. Okay, let That's me see right. it. After four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided to use our backup plan, which we created after the... Relocate XX75 Felix. What's that back there? Why is it blurred out? Storage K-9, okay. Bonds Burgers. Blah, 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 blah. Tragic closure of Bonds Burgers back on July 20th, 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the Relocate Project. But before we go into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. Y'all need to like give them a re remake or makeover. You know what I mean? Dang. <laughs> oh! Let's start analyzing the relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous dates, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. What the? Wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back, go back. I missed something. I missed something. I'm sorry, y'all. Go back. You might have known from previous dates. Our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. Okay, yes, yes. That's that big facility that, um, what's his name went to? Oh my gosh, who is that driving it? Later on, a good amount of business opportunities appeared, such as books, merch, animated movies. We even got a TV show. That's when Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restore and reprogram the road. Felix. Okay, Felix is the founder. It looks like the guy that was driving the truck while ago. Robots of Bond's Burgers with the purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not so distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bond's Burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. I don't think y'all should so do that. Give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart. Okay, that was Jack right there, wasn't it? I feel like Felix did something to Jack. Okay, I see a face, bro. Reprogramming phase. Facial expressions. For the animatronics? Okay. Model use Banny. Okay, results should be the same in all the other something. Mouth. The mouse is a, is a pre-relocate feature. Okay, it's moving too fast for me to read. Annoyed slash bored. Surprised. Okay. Looking for friends, customers. Uh oh, 
brace yourself, brace yourself. She found somebody. Oh, oh, so that kind of confirms my suspicion, right? That there's people inside of them. What the heck? Hey, I ain't do nothing. Ooh. Okay, so they are trying to get out. The rabbit is starving. 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 Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is 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 is. Bro, what the heck? I got the shields. Seeing a bunch of rabbits. Okay. This is insane, dude. Yeah, we we saw that a rabbit was trapped inside of a cage. Okay, of course. And what was that? Was somebody head, you know, inside of a cage? What was that? No, it's like a poster. Sarah, Sarah, something. Sarah Wood Dogs, Susan Wood Dogs, missing. Also, is Susan Wood Dogs inside of Banny? Oh man, that's crazy. What is that? Technical support. Hey. Welcome to technical support. Today we will focus on the area tour and orientation inside K9, the Bunny Smile Storage Facility. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always wear the Bunny Smile uniform. Purple guy! Purple guy! <laughs> but most importantly, all of you must always under any circumstance use your BSIID card. Brian Stales. Oh, we saw what happened to Brian Stales in the last episode. Once you have all the necessary equipment at hand, we are ready to go. Hello. I see you made it to the storage facility. I bet you must be very excited. That's a bad place to go. Working here. But let's stop and think. Do you have all the necessary items for your job tasks? I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Let's check the items you will require for your job at K9 Lantern. Flashlight. Check. Z what does that mean? Love your mom. Check. Key. Check. Camera. Check. Oh, there go Jack again. What's the deal with Jack? Wow, it's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn it on! Turn on the uh. It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room. In this room, you can sit down, rest, talk with co-workers, you name it. Remember to always treat this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. Who 
was that? Y'all, I'm just trying to listen and focus, you know? All right, this is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. Okay. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available in a Bond's Burgers restaurant. All right. The third door is used to hide... To hide what? Bodies? Welcome to the basement. Right now, you are in the main storage area. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. Okay. Remember to avoid touching or shining lights at our robots unless you are a facility technician. Now let's move on to the next room. Ugh. How odd. I remember we visited this room already. Wait! Oh! Oh! Oh god, is that oh no, is that the lady uh, that's inside this supposed to be inside this animatronic? And this shadowy figure that we saw down here is that um what is that guy's name? I forgot. Bro. Yeah, that is her. By the time the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. Oh, oh. Yes. Broken. We'll fix you. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. Oh yeah, she's done for. That's see, that's what I saw, and put her inside. Oh. When she woke up, she looked beautiful. But on the inside. She wanted to get out. That's absolutely wild. That's her. What's her name? I can't tell. The following footage was recorded during July 1978 on which three Bunny Smiles technicians volunteered to stay three days in the BSI storage facility for the purpose of reprogram the animatronics in order to execute the relocate project. Okay, three Bunny Smile technicians, I got you. And three days in BSI, that's them. The employees left to the right are Hillary B. Ashley, P. and Kevin, W. The next footage shows the three employees restoring the Bonds Burgers 1974 animatronics. Oh no, but um, the place itself was open during a short period. Of time. Oh, they're not gonna make it. Um, Fair number of cases occurred around the area. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And there were complaints from people that lived near the restaurant about the place playing music during midnight, like two or three in the morning, along with the lights on, which was weird because back then the company didn't really worry about hiring night guards. But yeah, the police closed after people were put in during the screams of the adult woman inside the restaurant. Uh oh, that was who we just saw. Yeah, yeah. Some hours after that the case was reported, residents decided to close the doors, probably because authorities needed to check the place or something. Um, what's weird about this is that the last day Bonds was open, they only let like one or two families in. And they mentioned later that the animatronics like the entertainers were completely absent in the current pose. You have to lie. Fuck. This forest reminds me of the movie. It, the, uh. It's like this chainsaw man. Oh, no. Uh oh. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, we gotta move on with the others soon enough to finish everything by Friday. I mean, yes. But I think we should make them look as new as possible. That's the point, that's the point of this whole project, right? Um, I think we should restore yeah. as much as we can, but thing. Yeah, but if we keep focusing on these small details, the reprogramming of the robots will be fancy. Hey Kevin, I thought we can add the blinked eyes to this one. The eye pockets are really damaged. I'm also if someone did this intentionally. I think all these holes in the suit and stuff were made after the closing. What do you mean? 
Well, the pipes closed down. Some of them had the company who created the robot. Had to revise them after noticing a good amount of irregularities in them. Jeez, the man. Just probably did his best to get to the end of sales. Good night, guys. Uh, it is so cold in this place. Not a good idea. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentioned its purpose? You just overlooking the stuff. The key? I wonder if that's the key to that one room. Exactly. It actually was something interesting. Maybe, but we're, uh, we're out of time. You should focus on finishing these robots by tomorrow. Right. Good night. Hello. Hello. This will be probably the last part of your name before we leave. So, yeah. Bad news. Ugh. The programming page was unsuccessful. He had a lot of inconveniences when he tried to restore the robot. Some damaged parts in the end of the the model made it impossible to add the new features. And let's not forget the fact that we didn't have enough time to end the project. Yeah, we hope we can go back with better equipment and better deadlines. As Hillary said, we're begging the company to allow us to return to a more organized plan. But for now, this ends the reprogramming phase for the, uh, Relocation project. I do apologize y'all for no commentary. I'm just trying to learn, you know, analyze and listen. You know what I mean? Hey guys, this is Ashley. I'm using the camera because I am planning to buy her with a ski lead suit. I'm sure my little ski hides could save the project. I was sure this going to see you guys once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small piece could be a lifesaver. Oh no, she's done for. Bad idea. The back doors. Door. They have a back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek, see if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. Mm mm. Mm mm. Uh, you messed up. I don't think I have one time, so I'll just try and peek around the door and see what's inside. One, two, three. Oh! Uh, I came across this door, which, uh, which is open. Scattered. Anyway, dip something. Shipping. I mean, it's Animatrox, I guess. Whoa. I'll go into detail about what I find since I'm in a rush, of course, and... This, this, this room number 26 or 27, I, I think. Um, Never fun. So these are old Animatronics yeah, that... Nothing I understand, to be honest. <laughs> Whoa, what happened? What happened? What? Ugh. Who is that one supposed to be? Bizarre. I can't really tell if this buddy is a robot or a puppet, but like, you know, why is it hanging on the wall? This is really weird. So this is the last door. I am... I've never seen this clown thing before. Really, like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. I'll probably wait till you guys see this video and come down here with me so we can... Wait a minute, is, uh, is that Billy? Um, I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed, so I guess I'll have to be brave and uh, try and see what this whole thing is. Discard. It said discard on it. Player thing installed. But my guess is that it's used for um, for birthday parties, like you know, play a customized tape or something. I don't know, but we're about to find out. Jeez, bad idea. Okay, it's singing. Cool, I guess. Okay, cut it off. Jack, Susan, Charles, Rosemary, Sophie. Ooh. Okay, he was calling out names, but. I think those were the names of the people that that died already, right? <laughs> oh shoot! Yeah, she Bond got her. Is that her screaming?
Uh, Dang, so did he put her, that lady, into Billy? What was that? That is insane. I got chills, dude. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Dang, I can't get it. All right, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Man, it's even creepier. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. So what happened to the other two dudes? All right, y'all, I finally got it. So they left the next day. They thought Ashley left early. No, she didn't. But she was in the back door screaming as much as she could. But no one heard the screams. The following days, the caretakers would complain about an awful smell coming from the back doors. Company decided to shut down the facility until new advice. Um, the relocate project was unsuccessful. Ashley is still there, but she's not screaming anymore. She saw something she wasn't supposed to see and now she's beautiful she's beautiful she's beautiful what the heck hey bond let's say hey, bond every time he sees a human he doesn't see you as beautiful until he puts you inside one of these things man relocate project so ashley is done for and the other two dudes got out free oh man so I definitely get FNAF vibes, but I feel like this is a lot scarier than FNAF. I'm gonna just. What the freak was that? What is he saying? Oh. All right, y'all. So, yeah, they are doing some freaky, freaky stuff behind the scenes, dude. Animatronics killing people back and forth, sticking people inside the robots. Not good. Not good. All right. So last video for today is lucky you. All right. And then, like I said, in next videos that are going to come out, we'll, you know, react to the other episodes. All right. So lucky you. It's only four minutes long. Bonds of Burgers. Come join the party. Opening day, 628, 1974. Ugh, that might be the thumbnail, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> First birthday party. Is that inside the... Okay. Bro, that would terrify kids. <laughs> Last shows before closure. Thank you for the smiles. All right. Is that Bond looking through? Gosh, that's scary. Okay, then that's when they sent all the animatronics to the storage facility, right? And if you go in there, hey, bad idea. Six Ugh. You must be so confused about what you saw. Don't be scared, my little bunny. Answers will be given eventually, but don't try to solve this puzzle only with the pieces you have so far. This is only the beginning, for I'm going to tell you a story of broken people, beautiful people. He is so sorry about what he did to them, but there's nothing he can do. Remember that. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety of the Sophie. 
Oh, okay. This was back in um, I think the first episode, right? Where I forgot his name. He was running away. And Bond got him. Yep. Okay, that was Ashley screaming. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills. Is this a new animatronic coming through? Sophie Walton. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills. Oh, can't you see? I had them beautiful. I made them beautiful. I don't know how. I don't even mean to, but I did. They try to talk to us through analog. They will be heard. This is their try for, cry for help. Besides, they want us to know what happened that year. But he must be patient. We must be patient. Look. They are filthy with life. They dance to the music. They laugh and sing along. They're perfect. They are beautiful. Okay, of course, that's what I was thinking. We heard this is Bond talking. <laughs> They will see you soon, Sophie. All right, so Sophie, who wherever you are, you better like I, if I was Sophie, I would like move planets or something, dude. <laughs> that is scary, bro. These three episodes have been terrifying, bro. So we got the, you know, the good old people being put into animatronics and then they start killing people. Restaurant, family diner. This time it's Bond's burgers instead of pizza like FNAF. And I think it's mostly Bond doing this to people and the one guy. I don't remember his name, y'all. Let's see, what are people saying in the comments? What if this entire series was Sophie forgetting to take her pills? Imagine that. <laughs> Somebody said Brian Stills looks like the left arm is broken. Bond, funny that jaw of yours is just gonna be be just like it. Uh, Brian Stills, what? Bond, what? <laughs> Guys, Sophie needs your help. The animatronic robots have been tracking her down for ages quickly before they get get her. Grab your parents' credit card and enter the numbers on the back. Hurry before they get her. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> so Jack Walton he is the one that's inside of bond right okay so it's called the walton files not because of jack walton but be, but because of sophie walton oh, so i think the real prize is sophie walton right that's that's what they're after i see a, a lot of people in the comments talking about this is just a burning memory what does that mean all right y'all that was the walton files though these first three episodes were something else dude i'm not lying <laughs> if i've missed anything please explain down in the comments below it would be a big help and like i said um in future episodes i will react to the other episodes of the walton files so stay tuned for that and if you are new here consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video it really helps out a lot and i will catch you all in the next one peace